We're here at Flying Fish on the Boardwalk and we're about to do another food review. So there's two different options with the bread. There is the oil and there's also the butter and the butter was really good. The oil is uh, nothing different from oils you'll get in most restaurants, but they're nice enhancements to both, um, to the bread. So um, definitely, definitely recommend it. My appetizer was the lobster bisque with aged brandy and chive oil. Next up was the slow roasted pork belly with spiced apple and cherry gastrique. Also at the table was the oak grilled romaine. And Jacob enjoyed the shrimp. I just tried the lobster bisque and it comes with chive and sambuca and it is a five out of five mix. I did the, ooh, I did the five out of five head turn. Can't deny it. It's really good. It's creamy, it's super, super tasty. And I'm all for this one. We just tried the shrimp cocktail with the blood orange, the horseradish and the black cypress sea salt. And that all comes together really, really well. The salt is not overpowering. The, the shrimp is very big. It's very meaty. And it's not very fishy. No, right? not fishy at all. It's a good balance. It's a good size, nice balance of tastes. Love horseradish. Um, it's a five out of five for me. The sauce is very good too. So I'll agree with that five out of five. Okay, I got the oak grilled romaine salad. It is the plant-based option on the appetizer portion of the menu. Um, you could actually see the char on the lettuce, um, so it adds a nice smoky flavor. Um, there's some cherry tomatoes and also some cu some cucumbers, and the dressing is really vinegary with a little bit of a spice to it, and I'm not yeah, sure what's yeah. giving it that kick. Um, but it's really good. I mean, it's a salad, but it's elevated, so it's good. Nice. Yeah. How many Mickey's? I'm gonna say four out of five. We have to point out the that. silverware here. Look how imaginative this is. Right? Yes, yeah. Look at the scales. With the little tail on the ends. Um, and everything's like that. It's yeah, my it favorite. Is like it's my own scales. Favorite. Here, Jacob ordered the potato wrapped red snapper with red wine reduction. Several of us ordered the char-crusted New York strip with Bernays sauce. Jillian enjoyed the filet mignon with herb risotto, broccolini, and Sobe's sauce. I thought it was quite the novelty that my cauliflower was colored. And look how good that Bernays sauce looks over that super char-crusted steak.
My char crusted New York uh, strip was amazing. It was so different. Was it the very best steak I had? No, but it's close. It is very, very charred. So when they say it's charred, it's going to be black. So you have to be able to accept that part of it. Mine was cooked medium well. So if it's, I imagine when it comes well done, which Tammy got, I don't know if, you can't get any blacker and char, more charred than mine. So I'm sure hers was that same way too. I didn't really look at it much, but she'll tell you about it. It was so good. It was still tender when you got through that harder crust of the, um, of the, um, the char, it, it was very tasty and you didn't have to chew it very much. And the flavors were flavors I've never had accompanied with steak. Um, and that was the Bernays sauce, really, really good. And um, it was nice to add color with the cauliflower. It just tasted like cauliflower, but it was really good. And um, yeah, I mean, this was probably a solid four out of five Mickey's for me. It was very, very good. And like I said, very tasty. The stacked potatoes was different. Not my favorite potatoes, but they were they were good. Uh, so probably if I rated the potatoes on their own, maybe like a 2.75. But the steak was really, I really amazed his. So Jacob got the potato wrapped red snapper, and I think you really liked it. I thought it was really good. The fondue just made it even better. Um, everything put together is basically what's made for, is what I'm thinking, because uh, just everything, everything by itself is really good. But then once you put everything together, it just makes it even better. Yeah. The presentation was fancy. The presentation yes. was really nice. Uh, that potato wrapping it was, um, crunchy? Yeah, it was, it, was a little, it was a little crunchy. A little bit, a little bit crunchy. Country, browned, and the fish, the snapper was nice. It was... Yeah. It was meaty. It was it's not, very not fishy, fishy, fishy and that's important to me. Yeah. So it was cooked fresh and uh, really good in a yeah. really good size, right? The size of it was like this big. It seemed so, small at first, but then once I started getting into it, it felt like a lot more. Yeah. So what do we say? Five out of five Mickeys, four out of five Mickeys? I'd give it a 4.5. 4.5 for the red snapper, everybody. I got the creamy goat cheese cake and it was really good. It's gonna be a five out of five Mickey's for me. Super flavorful, um, really, really good. And it had the, let's see, the, the pistachio cake. I was looking for a cake. It's a really small level of that. Um, and the cheesecake kind of sits on top of it. And um, yeah, really rich flavor. It was really good, five out of five Mickey's. The, got to try uh, Tammy's chocolate dessert and super chocolatey, um, kind of had that cocoa taste to it, and that's a five out of five Mickey's as well. And I got the Florida Sunset, and it was perfect. It was super fruity, the uh, citrus brodo, the fresh fruit, and the sweet lemon just all came together 
It was a very nice fruity dessert. So five out of five for me. I agree with them too. I try everything at the table and that also was a five out of five. These desserts really hit a home run, except for this one over here. <laughs> that one right there. Um, it has like a mochi texture. Yeah. Kind of gelatin, like a layer of gelatin. Um, it said key lime on the menu, but it was definitely more guava passion fruit forward, which, is, which was also on the menu, but yeah. I didn't get key lime as much. Okay. And what would we give that for a rating? I would say a 3.5 out of 5 minutes. Okay, still not bad. Pistachios. <laughs> Um, Sold. And for the filet, that's the second best filet I've ever had, and I've had quite a few filets. Ooh. That's the best one easily on Disney property. Oh. I think I found the winner. Oh. Nothing beats Monkey Pod, of course, but like as for like Disney property, that's hands down the best. And it's the most unique. It melted in your mouth. It was so juicy, so full of flavor, and the knife cut through like butter. It was delicious. I could have a whole nother one. What do you hear me say that? About the key lime cake that Susie like had. Cake. Seriously, to me it tastes like carrot cake. Really? 100%. To me it tastes like carrot cake. So with that said, what did you think of it? It, it tastes like a sweet carrot. Yeah. How was the mochi? With some weird useless gelatin on top. The aftertaste is like carrot cake and pirates. I'll give it a three at best. What did I get? The goat cheese? Yeah. Oh, I got the creamy goat cheese. Goat cheese. I got the creamy goat cheese. Cheese cake. <laughs> and it was really you good. <laughs> With pistachio. With pistachio. pistachio. Exactly. Jill, how are you a pistachio? Girl, what? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. There you go. Flying fish in the books. We've never done flying fish. And it was amazed is overall. I loved everything. The steak was very unique. What flavors that brought to it. Very unique flavors to the steak. It was very charred. So be prepared. If you order that, if be that's ready. that's not your kind of steak. Yeah, mm -hmm. if that's not your kind of steak, you might want to go with Jill's. The filet was, oh my God. The only reason I didn't give it a five out of five is I'm comparing it to Monkey Pod. I compare everything to Monkey Pod. Y'all know this. But Monkey Pot, of course, is the best steak I've ever had. Um, the best filet I've ever had. No, steak, steak in general. What am I talking about? Steak in general. But the only reason why I didn't rate it a 5 out of 5 is because of Monkey Pod. But if Monkey Pod didn't exist or I've never been there before, then that would have been a 5 out of 5 top of the top. But that's 5 out of 5 top of the top for Disney property. Or Disney World property. Nice. You loved all your stuff. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All great. Yeah. Oh, and first time trying anything goat cheese. The goat cheese cheesecake was really good. And um, a 10 out of 10 would recommend. That's <laughs> <laughs> what she said. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. And with that, it was great. We recommend Flying Fish. It was one of the uh, nicer restaurants we have done it's on really Disney nice property. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Waitress was, was amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, my maze is and everything was great so book your next meal at flying fish so no as a whole i would yeah. rate the whole entire restaurant five out of five Ooh. i want to start rating restaurants like as a whole we, well end. we did we rate last yeah. week we rated right. chefs of france 4.33333 no, no that's combined though i don't like that yeah yeah it's really it's nice in there i really like the wine closets and stuff very fancy yeah yeah, yeah, nice I got the B-roll on the on the wine. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Very nice in there. Just nice all around. A great experience. Jill says a five. Um, I gotta give it. A, I'll give it a five. The experience. Yeah. Knowledgeable waitstaff. Nice atmosphere. 
the food was was spot on. You know what was nice about it is but, that it wasn't over um, too loud in there. Like a lot of restaurants can get yes. too loud. It wasn't like that. No. We were the loud ones. We probably were the loudest table. We're always the loudest table. I know. We always are the loudest yeah. table. But that's why you love us. So, man. Y'all should see his stance right now. Yeah, want to see my stance? Look at this. I got to get low because these girls are all five foot feet. Five feet. She's one. Five foot one. Yeah. So, there we go. Look at that pose. It looks like it's time for the outro. I no, hope you enjoyed like, this it vlog. Looks like the cover, like the thing of Pawn Stars. Oh, there you go. Well, hey, you know what? Stay Leave some. Stay tuned if we find our car. Yeah, it's late. We don't even know. Our car is parked in the Epcot parking lot. Can we get in the park? It, yeah. Can we now. get into there? I don't think so. You know? So, who knows? I hope you love the food review. Leave comments below. I'm Corey. I'm Tammy. I'm Jacob. I'm Jillian. And where? Oh, and from Misha. Yes. And where? Living in Diz. We'll see you in the parks.